from uh, commercial break. Uh, wasn't that a great first segment with our special guest, Elon Musk? Who knew he had enough time to perfect the uh, electric self-driving car and a butter tart recipe? I prefer that he didn't use raisins. Anyways, let's focus on our main course for this show. So today, I'm going to bake a recipe for you that comes highly recommended from my university friends. It's called ECNI 831 Social Media and Open Education. Now, let's take a look at the ingredients you're gonna need to make this lovely recipe. Well, first off, you're gonna need one cup. You're gonna need one cup of Alec Kiros knowledge. The best part, you don't need to leave any room for textbooks in this recipe, yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful though, when you're, uh, when you're dealing, when you add Alec Kiros to your recipe, because there are a lot of fake ones out there, <laughs> yeah. They look a lot of awful like, a lot like them. So, uh, for example, oh, this one right here, goes by the name of Alex Gallant, an oil contractor from Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. All right, so uh, a big part of this recipe is blogs. Yeah, you're gonna need about four cups, four cups worth, and not just your own blogs, you're gonna need to incorporate other blogs into this recipe as well. Uh, it's, this recipe, it's like a collaboration where you're gonna learn from each other. Now, once you got your blogs in the bowl, you're gonna wanna fold in about a cup's worth of Twitter. Yeah, you're just gonna wanna mix that right in there, that Twitter in there with the uh, blogs and the Alec Kiros knowledge. Yeah, get it all in that bowl. Perfect, perfect. Now, don't forget, you're also gonna wanna sprinkle in a little bit of those Twitter chats. I prefer, in my recipes, I prefer hashtag ditch book. Um, it's in season, weekly, Thursdays, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Central. Yeah, um, gives a little flavor to, to the Twitter. Okay, now we're just gonna wanna set that bowl to the side and let it rest. Next, you're gonna wanna grab about three quarters of a cup of OERs. Yeah, Open Education Resources. Now. This is a really important part of the ECNI 831 recipe. This is where you'll discover a lot of the uh, taste, where the taste comes from. Now, this is just a preference of mine, but I prefer OER Commons in my recipe. But I know some like Ted Ed instead, which gives your cake uh, more of a video taste. Some people out there, they prefer open stacks, which to me is like the same as cilantro. Ugh, gross. Anyways, we're gonna wanna Bring this OER to a simmer on medium. Put on medium heat, um, let it boil and then bring it down to a simmer. All right, and then you can tell, you can tell when it's been on too long, when you get to like the, I don't know, fourth or fifth page of your search. Yeah, you've been in there way too long. Yeah, so uh, once we mix all this together, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna bake this now in our oven, which I like to call the fall semester. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put this in our oven here. We're gonna put this in the fall semester for like, I don't know, 10 to 12 weeks, say. Um, and once it's ready to come out of the oven, we're gonna wanna decorate it, and make it look all nice. I'm gonna show you that in a second. All right, so after about 10 to 12 weeks, you're gonna wanna take that uh, ECNI 831 recipe out of the fall semester. Right there, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Perfect. Now we're just going to decorate it and it'll be ready to serve. All right. So the last thing we're going to do with this recipe is we got to decorate this cake and, and make it look nice. So uh, we're going to cover this cake with some social activism. Yeah, we're just going to grab the old social activism and really cover it up there. Now, you know, we're in a lucky position to be a baker and actually have a cake to, to decorate. So, you know, really, really layer on that social activism. Yeah, um, you know, get some, uh, get some of your friends out there too to help you decorate this cake. Really take advantage of the situation you're in and, uh, you know, put some tweets on there, maybe sprinkle in a little online petitions. Uh, you know, really, really encourage friends to get involved there. Um, now, last thing that will make this ECNI 831 recipe complete not candles. You know what's gonna really make this cake pop? That's right. Boom. TikTok. <laughs> you never have enough TikTok in your recipe. All right. It's really gonna add some spice to that overall product.
We'll be right back after this commercial break with a panel of judges to tell us what they think about this recipe. Okay, so no cooking show would be complete without a panel of judges. Um, it's my honor to introduce these three judges to the Cooking with Curtis show. I'd like to start with uh, Chris. You might know Chris from such great projects as Boys Can Knit. Hello, Chris. How's it going today, Curtis? Good. I also want to introduce uh, Lee. You might know Lee from her great project at ASL Project, American Sign Language. As well, she also teaches at my son and daughter's <laughs> school. And you might know Kelly um, from her awesome blog, Tech in the City. You have to see her phone. It's really cool. And we have recently started calling her uh, Cricket Kelly for her new uh, skill in vinyl cutting. So uh, I think, um, Chris, we're going to start with you. Now that you've had a chance to taste the ECNI 831 recipe, tell us, what are your thoughts on this recipe? Well, Curtis, I can definitely tell that you've been working really hard on this recipe for the past 12 weeks. I can definitely taste that added splash of Twitter and the blogs that you've added. Mwah, delicious. I would recommend just a little bit of, maybe take it back just a little bit on the, on the TikTok though. A little too much. TikTok. Otherwise, delicious. Okay. A little salty with the TikTok. Understood. That's great advice. Thank you, Mr. Weber. Thank you. Thank you. No uh, Lee, your thoughts next, please. Yeah, you know, my thoughts really do correlate with Chris in regard to the TikTok. Everything else is really sweet, really cr crisp, really fresh feeling. Just that TikTok, just a little too much salt, but I do really like your approach. I think that TikTok was the right way to go. Just hone it back a little bit on your next approach. Well done. Very, very delicious. Thank you for your honesty, Lee. Thank you very much. Uh, last but not least, Kelly, what are your thoughts? Well, I do want to say that you perfected a recipe, which was amazing from the first one, which was uh, maybe a little lacking. Um, I think that you did a really good job explaining your process and letting all of your followers know on Twitter. But like Lee and Chris, I would say TikTok, you were really talking. Huh. Awesome. Maybe we're just getting old, Curtis. We're, we're just not into that old tiktok thing yeah my recipe is more yeah. <laughs> yeah in my defense i made this recipe before more people in their 20s i guess like early 20s you know what i mean people born sadly in the year like 2000 but um <laughs> anyways i i thank you for the feedback i will keep trying to improve this recipe and i really appreciate your feedback throughout the whole baking process the 12 weeks of great baking that happened so thank you very much um yeah take care well executed thank you curtis, curtis. good luck in round two